Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this beautiful 3D projector. It's done by a company called Tomy and it is modeled V6. Yes, it is fully jam packed with Android OS, comes with 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB internal storage, comes with Bluetooth 4.0 and also it has a LAN connection Plus, it has 5G Wi-Fi. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon. That way you will be notified once we have a new video out. Plus, click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly for you. On top of that, if you have any questions, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to answer it ASAP. Already you can see that the box is really nicely designed have some markings around and once we open it the projector sitting right on the top and the components that are part of this is so in the first box we have a hdmi cable and then on the second box we have a ir remote we will capture this in a few seconds on another box we have a nice looking tripod and we will hook this up and show you exactly how the projector looks on top of this tripod in a few seconds. It looks like the power supply. And yes, it is. So it comes with two parts. One is going to be the power connector. So this is created for Canada, United States, and it is 110 volt. But here is the little brick. Now, this is where it's going to have all of the power sourced. And this is where you're going to be able to connect this to your projector. I do not want to forget, this is 19 volt, 2 amps. And here's the best part, it comes with a nice instruction. And it is not really big, you can see it's only a few pages. And when you flip it open, it talks about everything that you need to know, about the remote, the unit itself, the buttons on it, which we will cover in this video. Also it has the menu screen, and everything is there. Now if we go to the back part of it, it also talks about the warranty, and also it talks about how everything will be troubleshooted if something is not working. All right, so the big moment is the actual projector. It sits inside of a nice looking plastic and it is really shrink wrapped in order to see it properly. So when you open it, yes, you will damage the plastic itself while opening, but that's worth it because now you know how it is sitting inside of it so that way it doesn't get damaged. And that's very professional of how they packaged it. So we will take this out it's upside down so we will put it accurately right here all right so here's the projector it looks really nice it's not that big and it's not that small so it's really nicely sized as you can see it right now so from the front you can see the lens is set up really nicely then you do have some holes some of them are just for the looks so it looks a lot better and you see the ir sensor these holes are just for ventilation going on one side of it is the speaker so it is 8 ohms 5 watt cuts inside of it that makes it look really slick now going to the back part of it is where you're going to see all the connections so we're starting from the left side you have the dcn which is 19 volt 2 amps then you have one usb you have second usb and this way you're going to be able to connect your usb so you can play your movies and then there is one hdn that means is this will do hdmi 2.2 which will bring even 3d movies yes on top of that you have a lan connection which a lot of projectors do not have and it really requires because some of these projectors do have some android built in and with the lan connection i am sure you're not going to have any type of problem while you're playing your movies on top of that, you have AVN, which means is that you're going to be able to connect your older type of gaming system or VCR or even beta tapes to this in order for you to play using the RCA jack, which is not included in this box. Then you do have a headset jack, which you will be able to connect to your headphones or if you want to connect it to outside source, something like receivers, or you want to connect it to your speakers, this will really help you out. Right on top of it is your micro SD slot, which can read up to 32 gigabyte. And also on this side of it, you have the eight ohm five watt. And then going in the bottom part of it is where you're going to see really nice things. First thing is the four rubber feet. There's the four little rubber feet. So when you hook it up or when you put it on the ground itself 
it is very hard to move it and shake it. So this way it's going to be really nice and steady. And also right in the bottom part of it is you're going to be able to see there's more holes and it looks like this is where you're going to be breeding in order for it to run properly. Then you do have your serial number and it do indicate to you that this is model V6. It is DLP LED. I want to mention that this is 3D projector. So we are not done yet. On top of it, we have their name really nicely written, which says Tao Mei. There is going to be a little LED light running. Once we turn it on, we will show you. Then you do have the focus plus focus minus which is everything is digital and also you have the power button or the source button so this way you're going to be able to change your source if you misplaced your remote now the remote is a really nice but again generic remote from the any other projectors but there are some really cool little buttons that really going to help you out and that's that way this remote really stands out that's the first one is the 3d button we will show you that since we had went ahead and we purchased glasses for this and then you do have the focus and you also do have the mute button you have the return home and also the menu key the minus and plus this is the four-way navigation keys that we have and also the ok button in the middle and also you have a settings for your projector itself so we will be testing this out in a few seconds since i only see only see one sensor which is right here so this way the remote would work so let's see how it really works and let's power it up all right so we're going to be connecting the tripod and showing you exactly how it really looks and we're going to open this part so that's how wide the legs can get and also you can fix this part so it doesn't move by just tidying up the bottom part And there you go, and this is how it will look once you set up everything. All right, so this is the main page as soon as you load the projector. By the way, when I was turning it on, did you see that it was over the screen itself and going all the way around? And again, you can see that it's a lit room with the regular lights on and you can see the screen perfectly. So again, this is something that we really enjoy watching. Let me just move the screen a little bit so we can capture everything right there all right so this is the screen that you're going to be able to see so from that side you can see that we have the happy cast then we have the av port and then we also have the settings which we will be playing with and then you also have the manuals we don't need that right now because we're going to cover it and also we have local mm we also have google play store then we do have file explorer and you have add more apps right there another really cool thing is on the top you will see the actual date which is incorrect and also the time now the time is incorrect all right so let's go through two settings let me show you what settings provide for you you have your wi-fi also your wi-fi hotspot yes you can use this as a hotspot because it has a LAN connection in and also you have wired network that's what i'm trying to say and also you have bluetooth so that way you can connect all of your if you have headphones or you want to connect your bluetooth speakers this will really work you also have mirrorcast you also have video mode and you have zoom which this way it will really help you out if you want to zoom in or you want to zoom out there you go you can see that that it gets smaller and smaller so this way if you want to make it you know small for just for yourself so that way it doesn't really hurt your eye or you want to fix it for your screen you can use this so it's really really going to help you out in order to fix it the next part is scaling so this way you're going to make it more letterbox or you make it proper six by nine there you go or six ten it will help you out same thing with this part you can make it a little bit adjust or you're going to leave it as default this will really help you out too or if you don't really know what you have done you want to reset it just click on it and it will reset we will get out of that too same thing with aspect ratio you can set it up as four by three 
and automatically changes. So that way, if you have anything playing on your VHS tapes, I really suggest for you to fix that. The next part is the sixteen, so it makes it a lot wider than the normal. So we will put it on 16 by 9. That would be a lot better. All right, so we will get out of that too. Now, next part is the projection. So this way, if you have it connected in a front or back, you will be able to play with this and it will be able to show you if it is going to be backward, upside down, and also from the back screen, rear screen. The one I'm going to select is going to be the regular front. The next part is the keystoning. This is the best part. I really like this part because this is how you're going to be able to select and play. It does not have a little notch on top of the projectors, so this is digital. You can click on it, and you can see right now that it went above. But when you press on it, and you see manual settings, you will be able to fix the top and the bottom. Another good thing is that you have this screen. Now with this, you will be able to fix, and also if you press on it, it will go to the next side, so that way it will make it nice and straight. Same thing with the bottom and also with the top. This is a really cool thing. Now I have already set it up so that way the top and the bottom shows properly on the screen. So when we press back and we press back, you can see that right now everything is really magnified. So let's go back and fix that part. There you go. Now I can make it so it goes down. There you go. And I'll press OK. And now this way I can make it go down. Once it's done, I can make it to go on a side. And then same thing here to make it nice and straight. There you go. Press OK. And also this way to make it nice and straight. So now we'll be able to capture it properly. So if you press back, it just stays that way. Same thing with brightness. You can fix the brightness to be high or low or energy saver. So we will leave it as default and go down with the sound output over here. Because it has everything set up inside of it and it has a really nice speakers to it, we're going to leave it as is. So if you want to automatically turn on and goes directly to HDMI or AV, you can set it up. But I'm just going to leave it directly to go into this UI itself. I really like it. Now, if there is any updates available, you can automatically ask for it to check for update. Or if there is anything available, it, you can also update it via USB. That's about it. You can also change your language and also your time zone, which I have to select. And it's supposed to be correct, but for some reason it's not showing, probably because I'm not connected to the internet. You can also change your wallpaper in the back, as you can see right now. When I got it, it was totally white, and I changed it to this one. It looks really cool. But we can also change it to one of the other ones, which looks even better. There is a white selection that you can select. I will select this one, and we will get out. And there you go, that's the background now. All right, so this is another part. Connecting to the Wi-Fi is a breeze. You just have to make sure it's turned on, on top here. And then when your Wi-Fi shows up, just click on it and enter your password using the remote itself that come with it. You are connected. His exploits are legendary. Now, in order to play anything on 3D, there is a catch. So I have to mention that make sure that your screen is on a default. You cannot customize it to shrink it or anything. So make sure that you position your projector accurately so that way it's not going to overlap on your screen. And as long as that is done, your 3D will work perfectly. So for that, I will go to my apps and I will select VLC. Now while this comes up, I want to show you guys that I have my 3D glasses here and this is one of the ones that is called active so make sure that you charge it and the light is on and then we will show you guys how it looks on the screen as soon as we 
play with the video itself. So by default, it shows as two screen. But if you look on the remote itself, there is a little button that's called 3D. And once you press it, you should get this little menu. And using the navigation key, we can switch it to make it look as if it is on top of each other. And this is the one. So now you can see that it's very blurry. But once we put the camera in front of it, then it becomes very nice and clear. And you can see that it is very blurry. But once we put it, see that it's so nice. So now you will be able to play with this. And it will work accurately for you. So yes, each of these glasses will shatter by itself on a different numbers. So this way your eyes can pick it up. And you can see that one is a little bit darker than the other. And that's because that's how your eyes are going to work with this. But here you go. This is how it really looks with a 3D. It looks awesome. Except it's very, very blurry. Now this is a sound test without any noise, but just the fan noise. And this is a sound test fan noise plus the video. <laughs> yes, tomorrow I'm finally leaving for college. But in the meantime, I made you guys this goodbye video. You know what? Now for the brightness, I know that it is 3,800 lumens, but here you go. This is what we got out of 2001 contrast ratio. The next thing we wanted to test was the Netflix. So make sure that you have a subscription with them. And once you have this projector, you just have to go to the app itself. You do not need to update it. Just go into it. It will take a couple of seconds for it to load up, but here you go. It automatically shows you all of the screens that you need to know. And once you start playing it, it will play it for you smoothly. Now remember that the projector itself outburst is 720p. So the standard definition app that they have will be doing the job accurately for you to get the picture really nice, crisp and clear. In this, we can go to the episodes itself and you can also just click on my list or you can say play. And it will play the video for you. Now this projector really grabbed our interest and is going to be one of the main projectors that we're going to use from now on. Not only the quality itself and also the adjustments, how we're going to be able to set it up and play with it. On top of that, the actual two speakers that they have. It is 8 ohm and 5 watts, but again, it's very loud and it has the bass that we're looking for. So when you're playing game with this, it's also going to stick out because it doesn't have much latency when you are trying to play the games with this. Again, it is going to beat any 1080p projectors right now. But again, the resolution on this is 720p, so you're not going to see that much of a difference. And with the lens being so small and again, so intense, it is going to be a little bit bigger screens than the 1080p screens out there. And again, on top of that, it has everything that you're looking for packaged in one. It has an Android 6.0, 3800 lumens. It also comes with apps that you can install. And also it's very customized. So you, very easily you can add and remove apps. And on top of that, it has 5G network. And if you even want to make this a hotspot, you just have to make sure that the LAN connection is connected in the back and you're going to be rebroadcasting your internet inside of your room. Remember that it is very portable, but you require to have a power source in order to power it up, except that it is very nice, very easy to play with and links will be available where you can order it from, except that I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on top, comment in the bottom always Remember to visit our own website, which is exitex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.